Hi everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Router Service. In this video, I'm going to show you the configuration of TP-Link TLWR845 model Wi-Fi router. Before we configure the router, you need to know how to connect your Wi-Fi router with your PC or your laptop. Let's see the router rear picture. On the back of your router, you'll see number of ports. Here the yellow one are for LAN connection and blue one is for connecting cable from your provider device. Now you connect your laptop with a LAN cable from one of this yellow port. TP-Link router default IP is 192.168.0.1 So you set up your laptop's IP 192.168.0.2 or you can leave it as automatic. Let me show you why you set this automatic IP. You can go to the search box and type in cpa.cpl enter. Now in the Ethernet, right click on here, go to the properties and Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP. Click on properties. Here you select obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK. So when you plug the cable on your laptop from Wi-Fi router, your laptop will get an IP address from router DSCP address range. After you plug the cable, you hit the browser with TP-Link default IP 192.168.0.1. It will ask you username and password. Tippling default username and password is admin. So put the default credential and log into it. Okay, for every router, the setup is almost the same. Maybe some menu have different names in other vendors router. Okay, we will follow six steps to configure Tippling TLWR845 and router. Just remember the steps and you can configure anything similar to this Wi-Fi router. I have configured the router already and will take you through the steps and explain. Go to the browser, just type here. Default username is main and password is also admin. Okay, our first step. First, we check the operation mode. Click on here, the menu. Okay, as we are going to configure it as wireless router, so we select the option wireless router and then we click save. Now step two, click here in the network and then to the one. In the connection type, you select static IP. So we will provide IP address in here. So you can see I have put the IP address, subnet mask and the gateway and primary DNS and secondary DNS. This address are provided by my provider. So then I just click save. Now step three, set up LAN address. Click on the LAN. Don't change it, keep the default. This is the TP-Link default IP. And this is actually the gateway address of your local LAN PC. Now step four, DSCP setting. Click on DHCP. First you check is your DHCP enabled. If yes, then it's fine. Here you can see start IP address and end IP address. This means lease IP address range this router will provide you to your LAN device. Always start IP from 10 or later so that you can keep some IP for static addressing to your local PC. Then you put the DNS address, primary DNS address and the secondary DNS address that was provided by your provider. And then you click save. Now step 5, click on the wireless and to the basic settings. In basic settings, we put wireless network name or society. This is the Wi-Fi name that will be appeared on your phone or your laptop. And change it to take your lab. Select the region India and mode is default. 11 BGN mixed. Now in the channel frequency, you can change it to 1, 6 or 11. These three are non-overlap frequency. You can choose the frequency channel by analyzing on Wi-Fi analyzer. I have a video on my channel. You can check it. I select 
11 and in the channel width you can keep the default or select 20 megahertz then click save now step 6 wireless security click on here wireless security security mode wpa wpa2 personal which is recommended and encryption aes and here you can put the password wireless password this password will be required to connect with your wi-fi router to access the internet okay if you finish up to this level you can use internet from your local network now just remember to connect ethernet cable from internet providers and device to your router's one port router's one port is the blue one now few bonus tips for you to secure your router you must change your router login password set it with combination of alphanumeric value you can find it in here in the system tools but i can't show you this because i log in from a remote location now come to this point click security and then to the remote management we turn on remote management if we have to access to our wi-fi router from other network just enter all 255 for all access so that's pretty much of it i'll cover a few more router configuration if i get feedback i will continue so do subscribe my channel for more videos thanks for watching